Yeah, my medicine's starting to wear off because I'm starting to feel more pain, so that's great. Hi everyone. Um, I know I haven't made a video in quite some time. I've been jotting down ideas and things that I want to talk about, and I just never actually get to filming it. But I'm gonna fix that. Um, I figured I have a lot of time on my hands now. I figured I would make a video and just have a little update about how I'm doing, because everyone's asking me, how are you? So, in case you didn't know, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know, but in case you didn't know, I was in a motorcycle accident. Could have been a lot worse. So basically, I don't remember anything about the accident, because I was knocked unconscious. The last thing I remember is I was at, I was at a red light, and I was waiting for, um, I was on the street, I was waiting for it to turn green, and everything was fine. Best thing, that's the last thing I remember. So I have a concussion, um, so I've been experiencing memory loss, short-term memory loss, um, headaches all the time, and dizzy, dizziness out of nowhere, random, um, and oh, and I have double vision. So that's why I'm wearing an eye patch. I switch the eye patch, I switch it um, each eye every now and then. I think this is the worst eye. But um, I have double vision. They said it'll take about two or three months and that sucks because I don't like resting. I'm someone I like to be productive. I like to do stuff with my time. I like to get things done. So not doing anything is really hard, but I have my dog. She helps. So when I first got home for a while, I couldn't think. You know when when you're you're just um you're like on autopilot and this thing keeps writing up. Um, you're on autopilot and just doing things where you're not actually thinking, you're not actually present. So I, I couldn't be actually present without just crying. And it's like, I couldn't tell anyone because I feel like no one would understand why I was crying. It was just, it was weird. I don't know if, if anyone out there has been in a motorcycle accident or a car accident or anything traumatic and you just, you just feel like crying all the time. Um, but that was me. I'm getting better. I only want to cry if I talk about things, so I'm getting better. Right, and right now I'm in a space where I cry every time I'm on Spotify and I hear a song that I really love because I just want to listen to it when I ride. And riding was really great for me. And I was really hard to learn. I don't know, it's because I'm short or I've never driven stick, so I didn't know what the gears, I didn't know what the clutch was. Um, and and I, I had fallen a lot when I was learning, and so every time I got back, I was very determined. And there were times that, like, my boyfriend who, who taught me was saying, you know, maybe this isn't for you, but it had to be. I knew it was going to be. And I finally did it, and I finally learned, and so every time that I got on that bike, I was proud of myself. And that's something that I don't have anymore, but that's why it was really special to me, because every ride I loved, just riding the bike, knowing the motorcycle, you and the motorcycle is like you're one. And then, oof, when I got good in the canyons and I really got to lean her, oof, that was another, another story. I loved riding. Um, love writing. Okay, so people ask me, people ask me, do you want to write again? That's not the right question, because I, of course, want to write again. But will I? I don't know. I don't know. I love everyone around me who was so worried when I got in the accident. I don't want to put anyone through that again. Um, I don't know. It was a special thing to me. It's really special. Anyways, guys, I'm good. You know, I have I have crutches, but I could be in a wheelchair, which honestly I kind of should be because both of my legs really hurt when I walk, and the crutches hurt my like my my lung or my rib or whatever is bruised because it really hurts right here. Anywho, it could be a lot worse. So I'm really glad that I'm okay 
and and people came to visit me in the hospital and every message that I get from anyone saying just that just wishing me well and hoping that I can have a speedy recovery it means so much so thank you it's gonna be a long recovery which is annoying um, and I have to rewrap my bandage on my knee I'm supposed to do it twice a day but I do it once a day because it hurts so much <laughs> it's like disgusting how much it hurts when I have to redress that bandage um but I'm doing I'm doing okay guys you know I'm taking my medicine it everything hurts but it's doable you know I'll be back before you know it thank you to everyone who cares and who's wishing me well and making sure I'm okay thank you